I have been on hiatus in the sneaker world. Guys, I have not been picking up any shoes. Last year was sort of a whirlwind for me with all the new releases from Adidas. We had the Ultra Boost, we had the NMDs. That was sort of the beginning of like sneaker culture for me. And we've joked around about being a hype beast, all this, that, and the other. But I've been out of this world for a very, very long time. I haven't bought any sneakers in like three to four months. It's been a while. But there were finally two pairs of shoes, one of which I'm going to unbox for you here today, that I just knew that I needed to have. I wouldn't feel right if I did not have them in my collection. If I haven't been buying sneakers, that means I haven't been unboxing sneakers on my YouTube channel. And it seems since I've stopped doing them, I'm always so flattered by the amount of people that are asking me to bring them back. So here it is. Finally, this is very long overdue. I'm not sure if this is gonna be the right pair that I wanna unbox for this video. I'm gonna save the other pair for another video because probably one of my favorite pickups. This, this is good too. Which pair are you? Wrong pair. I'm not even gonna give you guys any clues. I'm not gonna give you any hints. That is the wrong pair. This, however, guys, is most certainly the right pair. Ah! I'm very excited about this. Oh, oh, that sticker. That part is always so satisfying. Ooh, you guys can probably already tell by the box. I have done so many of these that if you don't know what's inside here, you haven't been watching my videos or you just don't give a shit about sneakers. It's one of the two. The last thing I'll say before I open them, I know what a lot of you guys are probably gonna be thinking. Why did it take me so long to pick these up? I don't know. I don't know why I didn't pull the trigger. Let's, let me show you what they are so we can talk about them. Oh. We are finally now proud owners of the Yeezy 350 breads. Probably not the best idea that I'm wearing a black shirt at the same time. You guys can't see them if I'm holding them across my chest. So this is what you guys need to understand. When they announced this pair of Yeezys, I thought to myself, oh, well, I don't really need those. I already have the Pirate Blacks, the original Pirate Blacks that they dropped. But there are so many people in LA that have Yeezys. For whatever reason, anytime I see somebody with Yeezys on, it's always the breads, every single time. I just keep looking at them and looking at them. We walk down the street, on the sidewalk, wherever I am, everybody has this pair. And they just look so good. I mean, you could wear it with any outfit, wherever you're going, whether you got shorts on, you're going to the gym, whether you're going out to the club. Dude, I saw Nick, he was golfing in, in bread Yeezy. So listen, I did not pick these up to look like everybody else, but I just kept looking at them and they just kept looking so good that I finally had to pick up the breads. Guys, I did it. I'm gonna wear these today. We're gonna be heading out here in just a little bit to get Jenna. Go meet up with Justine. We're going to this awesome event in downtown LA. But finally, the bread Yeezys feel good. So today's outfit is sort of like me doing a rain dance. It is 70 degrees in Los Angeles, California. And back in Chicago in September, that's usually when the cold air comes. Football starts up, fall starts coming, you're creeping up on Halloween and Thanksgiving and Christmas. So what I'm doing is I'm wearing a hoodie in 70 degree weather in hopes that this brings the cold air to Los Angeles. Because here, you don't get winter, you get hoodie weather. Like it doesn't get cold. Hoodie weather should be a formal season, right? We don't have fall, we don't have winter, we have hoodie weather, that's it. Spring, summer, hoodie weather. But to be honest with you guys, as I start my car, I don't know how long hoodie weather is gonna last. It's 77 degrees outside. <laughs> I'm gonna melt, dude. Look who I have joining me. Maddie's coming with? Maddie, sits in. He knows German. He does Smart. not speak German. He knows German. Why Why would he know German? Because we were teaching him German. Why were you doing that? I don't know, because he's too smart for English. Maddie, are you ready to get on the road here? Oh. I went and grabbed some food, but we're on a little bit of a time crunch. So we're gonna drive, we're gonna go pick up Justine, then we're gonna hop in an Uber, then I'll eat my food in there. Oh. Or you think Uber would get mad about something like that? We'll see. We'll just see. We might have some time when we get to. A little extra time. A little extra time. A little extra time. Need to eat. Okay, we're gonna get on the road. Thirty-five minutes later, and I finally get to eat. I went to Tender Greens. Did you do it? Matt, what's up, my brother? What are you doing, my homie? What's up? Hello, Apple Justine. Oh my God. How was Cupertino? It was, I honestly, I've never been that happy before and I have a problem because I don't think anybody will ever be able to make me as happy as Apple makes me. Well, Justine has been a fan of Apple for a very, very long time. Yeah, I was like seven wanting to go to an Apple keynote and now I'm many years later. I went! 
What? How and many years? She was finally oh. invited to an Apple keynote and she went, How, how's the iPhone X? Oh my gosh, it's really cool. It's really, really cool. But the craziest thing was, Steve Jobs Theater was like this incredible, um, I don't even know how to explain it. I'm like starting to shake getting excited. Oh, I know, God. I'm crazy. But it was so amazing. It was the first event to ever happen there. And it was the anniversary of the, the original iPhone, 10 years, and we had it, oh God. It sounds like you had a great time. I had the best time. I think, I think I'm gonna get the iPhone X. I want the big screen. You should. It's a bigger screen, but it's a smaller phone. I'm gonna eat now. Please stop okay, talking sorry. to me. <laughs> So we are heading out as a squad for the first time in a while. I've been locked away in my office streaming for the past month and haven't really seen much of daylight. And, and speaking more towards that, last night I completed my first ever Destiny raid. It took us 15 and a half hours, but I gotta say, that raid itself was probably one of the most fun experiences that I've had in gaming in a very, very, very long time. You guys know how you have those nostalgic feelings of certain games, certain missions, certain bosses, or certain multiplayer maps, or whatever the case may be. That was what I got last night with Destiny. I know I'm never gonna forget it. It took us 15 and a half hours, so props to Bungie for an incredible game. I had an absolute blast, but right now, we're about to hop in an Uber. We're going to Dodger Stadium for a Wonder Woman event of some sort. Okay, well, let's go then. Guys, an hour and a half later and we have finally made it to Dodger Stadium. It's pretty cool to be here in the parking lot and the stadium while there's no games going on. What's up, Francesca? You're looking good. My friend Francesca just got here. So we're at Dodger Stadium, the park is closed. Warner Brothers, I think, rented out the entire the entire thing for this event. If you guys saw the Super Bowl halftime show with the drones, they're gonna be doing some sort of event for Wonder Woman. My girl Francesca is here. The best makeup artist in the entire world. So hair too, do you do hair? Yeah. She does my hair sometimes. I fake it. But we finally made it, hour and 10 minutes later, hour and a half. It's a long ride. Christine, we haven't been here for not 10 minutes and you've already started eating. I love it. I haven't eaten. Today. No, this, I mean, this is the power play. Why have cookie on my face? Huh? Do I have cookie on my face? No, you don't have cookie. Were you eating cookie? Oh my god, chocolate chip cookie is delightful. I slipped away for literally two minutes and you you ate a cookie already. You guys are great. So smart. Christine's already eating. You got a cookie. Smart Ed is here. Wow, dude, you're looking very, very smart. There's smart. no, there's no lenses. They're real. They're real. Put them through. Yeah. Hello, Wonder Woman. Hello. Well. Hello. Did you get a toy? No, it's Francesca's. She so told me to hold it for her while she gets a drink. Are you drinking wine? Yeah. <laughs> so they said the show was gonna start when it gets dark. So I would imagine it's gonna get going here pretty, pretty soon. I'm really, really excited because that Super Bowl show was really, really cool. I feel like drones are still very, very new. So to have people orchestrating them so well, it's gonna be a spectacle, an actual spectacle. I'm very excited. Oh my God, I think they have Dodger dogs here yeah. as well. What do I do? Everyone's got hot dogs. I looked up, I just looked up and everybody has a hot dog. Are you smuggling hot dogs? I love hot dogs. <laughs> You have eight of them. What are you gonna do with I can all that? I handle eight hot dogs. Oh, Don't worry about it. It's the greatest thing I've ever seen, guys. It's just a container full of hot dogs. And I'm so happy that I got to witness it. The show's about to start. Guys, I can finally vlog again because they turned on the lights at the stadium. I can't even explain to you guys how cool it was to see all those drones flying in synchronization with my eyes. I'm hoping that it looked good on camera. I can't even fly my drone down the block. 
And seeing them do that with all those drones, I don't know, I don't know how it's possible. It blows my mind. Hopefully it looked good for the video. You look good for the video. Thanks. Ooh. I'm looking good for the video. <laughs> I teared up a whole lot, but it was not crying. Did you cry? It was just getting real emotional because sometimes things just look real good. <laughs> like me right now, I look good on video. <laughs> Set my alarm for 11.45. Oh my God, what time are you sleeping till? Well, I'm just in case I fall asleep, I gotta order my iPhone. Oh, 11.45 p.m. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I thought you were sleeping until like noon. I was like, oh my God. You don't do that all the time. Yeah, but you're not supposed to. You're older, you gotta get started. You're running out of day. <laughs> Wait, didn't you get up at one today? Yeah, but that's because I did a 15 and a half, hop, 15 and a half hour Destiny 2 raid, which you didn't do because you're not even high enough light. Well, I was busy getting views on YouTube and Oh working, my God, Jesus. So what were you, you really just came with the heavy hitter. I have to do it, Matt. It's all I've got. Yeah, you're old. I'm old. Okay, let's go home. High five. You're not old, you're nice and young. Goodbye, Maddie. See you later. He's cute, he's perfect. Sorry, he's that, perfect. You, sorry that you have to stay. I love flip flop the ear, right behind the ear. Justine, you've got Destiny boots. How much light do they have? Mm, like 145. Wow, these, you shouldn't wear these anymore. You're gonna get hurt. <laughs> They're not even legendary. Goodbye.